everyone, this is Shadowfoot once again, and today, got another box. This box is just like my other boxes, um, but today what is special is I am using my Sony camera, my Handycam, and uh, also if you guys want to send me anything, then the address is right here. Aim to that, to this, and to that. Send me something. Whether it be hate mail, love mail, or whatever kind of mail, feel free to send me something. Um, today we got a package uh, from Amazon. And there will be a couple things in this package. And yes, this means that there will be other videos coming from what's in this box. Alright, so, just like Amazon does, they have two things in the package, and this is what I really wanted. This item right here. I've seen this online, and uh, I looked at a review of this item, and I've been needing one for a while to do what else I want to do on my channel. This is a VTOP uh, intercom headset for a motorcycle helmet, and... I can't afford Xenas. I, I just can't. They're way too expensive. And this thing's supposed to do multiple things. It's supposed to be water resistant. Um, it can hear audio up to 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, Multi-user connectivity, just like the Xenas. Uh, MP3 GPS uh, audio, uh, as well as Bluetooth capabilities. Of course, it's made in China. And. Um, it says it almost fits on any helmet. This company is, of course, VTOP. And um, you can find these online pretty cheap. Now this is the double pack. It has two of them with it. This is the first time I've opened it, so I'm kind of uh, being nostalgic. It's like, ooh, pretty. But yeah, for this kit, I paid like $100 for two of them. I know they've went up in price since they originally was released. Probably because they are actually good. And uh, this will actually spark a how-to video for installation as well. So we'll have that later. Kind of a unique way of box packing. Okay. So, you got the unit itself. Big button, power button, the, uh, somewhat proprietary HDMI looking connector here where everything plugs into. I was hoping that that was like a regular connector like a HDMI, but... Nope, it looks like it's a proprietary connector, so that that can be a bad thing. The unit itself seems really nice. Buttons are very pushy, so definitely know when you tap something. It has like a tactile feedback. And here's the other part of the unit. The boom. It seems pretty stout. You got the speakers, one and two. But anyway, this is the VTOP uh, headset. It does look diff uh, slightly different scale than it did in the picture. I expected this to be bigger. Um, and the connector was not an HDMI. It is a pretty proprietary connector. It looks similar to the uh, HDMI video connectors that are on some cameras. Not necessarily the HDMI mini, but a similar looking connector. With the package comes, obviously, the boom mic, the speakers, and the plug-in for that. As well as a audio, power, USB cable, and the mounting hardware. And, uh, of course, the manual. And I assume the other thing is identical and what's in the box because this is a two per box. So we'll be testing this very momentarily and we'll be able to show you what it looks like and how it functions. So that's everything in this unboxing. And the other thing was specifically for my um, for my other device from my other recent unboxing video. everything back in here, shove it over there. This is the other thing I got. 
which um, this is the whole equipment so far that I would recommend for getting if you ever want to get into motor vlogging. Uh, I went the Sony route because Sony is a better company than other cam action cam companies. And this box contains a uh, charger for my uh, MPBX1 batteries. Which, um, Sony uses these MPBX1 batteries, uh, which is like their specialized proprietary battery. Um, good thing about what they do is that they make their batteries as universal as possible. Possible. Got a 2.1 amp and 1 amp wall socket charger. Um, let's see, a 2.1 amp and 2 1 amp chargers for DC adapter, and the main unit itself. I'm not sure what company this is from. I'll put a link in the video for where I got all these. And this unit was only like $20 for all of this. Um, and there's a couple of really good reasons the reason I got this. This is like a um, cradle that I got, uh, which plugs in the back with a micro adapter and has two docks for two batteries to charge simultaneously. Uh, and there is an independent circuit for each one, so you can charge one up, one up and it will be completely independent to the other one. It comes with two batteries, and these are the same kind of batteries that I use. Um, they are the 1600 milliamp lithium ion batteries versus the 1000 milliamp Sony batteries that come standard. And basically all you do is you take the battery and you just put it on the dock. So there is a little bit of pressing to get on there. And this means that what I could do and what I'm planning on doing is that when I'm out on the go So what I plan on doing when I'm out on the go is I'll take this item and I'll combine it with this item that I reviewed, which is um, my really, really big mobile battery charger. This thing's massive. So I can have this in my backpack and uh, have this in my backpack. And let's say, let's assume these are dead. And I can just have basically this entire assembly in my backpack charging my charging two batteries at the same time for my action camera when I'm out on the go. And then of course I have the opportunity to use like car chargers and mobile chargers. And this is supposed to be a quick charger too. You have the advantage of doing that. And of course this is this doesn't really need a review. It's pretty self-explanatory on what the device does. I'm almost positive that it will charge because that's what's intended to do. So a link in the description uh, on where to get this particular item, which I would recommend if you're going with the Sony Action Cameras or the Sony Handycams uh, that take the same battery. It would be a great idea to get one of these. That's basically my quick unboxing review on this little charger, and um, we will be putting out a very quick video on the uh, how to install for the Bluetooth headsets. Um, but so far on the Bluetooth headset, it seems like great construction. I don't have any problems with um, with the quality of build, which I was which was a concern of mine, which is um, what I noticed from this company, the company that made the actual Bluetooth headsets. Is I was concerned about the build quality, thinking that you know it was going to be junky, and um, it's actually really really solid. Um, and other people uh, I've seen with these uh, on which uh, look like pretty good build quality as well. But we'll see what really happens when we get mounted on a helmet and do an audio check on them. But uh, that's been my slight unboxing and review for the charger. And this has been Shadowfoot, and until next time.